Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. So I finally finalized the university and I have selected Newcastle University and why I chose Newcastle University? That's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video. And uh, like I told you in my uh, previous video, uh, I have offered from uh, many universities, I mean all the universities where I applied to except uh, uh, University of Edinburgh. So if you want to know which all universities I applied to, you can always check out that video here. Uh, it will be uh, helpful for you. And in that video, I forgot to mention University of Glasgow. So I applied to University of Glasgow as well. And I have offer from uh, University of Glasgow, but uh, I didn't choose University of Glasgow. I will discuss about this at the end of this video, even though the University of Glasgow ranks uh, much higher than Newcastle University or queen mary university as well so yeah uh, that i will tell at the end of this video but uh, before that i will tell you all the reasons uh, why i chose newcastle university so with that being said let's start our uh, discussion but uh, before moving further as always if you are new here or if you haven't subscribed to the channel please go and subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming cradle family and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live and if you end up liking this video please give it a thumbs up it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys and uh, if you have something specific you can always ask me in the comment section i will be more than happy to help you to the best of my knowledge now let's start the discussion so the first reason why i chose newcastle university is the course content uh, they are covering almost all the aspects of data science or uh, they have actually a specialization in three different uh, categories so the first is ai second is statistics third is a visualization so whichever you are interested in you can choose it choose from that and based on that you can have modules or you can go for a uh, data science in general and uh, in your second time you can choose uh, all the modules uh, which you like so that is uh, what you can do now the second point is uh, teaching so when i talk to uh, multiple people uh, from newcastle university uh, so they told me they are covering uh, maths part also and they're teaching in a very good way and easy way because people are from uh, various backgrounds not everybody is uh, familiar with uh, coding and all those stuff so they are teaching those things uh, but yeah if uh, you know programming uh, that will be better that will be much better for you and uh, when you apply for uh, newcastle university if you are from a technical background you will have much higher chances of getting shortlisted uh, for the university or getting a seat or getting an offer from the university so that is the thing but if you are able to show your genuine interest in data science or ai uh, via your uh, sop you can have uh, you will get offered uh, in that case also now with that let's move on to our next point which is uh, cost of living so newcastle is relatively cheaper than other cities in the uk so that is a good thing so if i have to give you some uh, reference or idea uh, so if i live in london and if i am paying for a room uh, let's say somewhere around 500 to 600 pounds per month uh, for same room in newcastle i'll have to pay somewhere around 300 to 400 pounds so it saves quite a lot of money and uh, when you apply for visa you will have to show some uh, living expense so if you go for uh, london you will have to show somewhere around 11000 pounds for 9 months and uh, if you go outside london you will have to show somewhere around uh, 9000 pounds uh, for 9 months so that is a good thing and uh, i will have to show some less uh, uh, less amount as part of my living expense so i don't have to take uh, too much loan so yeah that is again a good thing and uh, with that let's move on to our next point which is i got a scholarship of around 4000 pounds uh, which is, which might not sound a very significant number if we compare it to the fees of the university so the fees is uh, 23,400 so yeah and if you translate it to Indian rupees it will be somewhere around uh, 23.5 lakhs so yeah 4,000 lakh 404 lakh is not that uh, significant number if we compare it to uh, 23.5 lakh but uh, still it is something uh, which I didn't get from other universities so again it played uh, somewhat uh, major role in choosing a university like i told you the main priority for me was 
course content but uh, here i got course content also uh, very good and uh, again i got a scholarship as well so hmm, it is a win win situation for me so yeah uh, that's why i chose uh, newcastle university and uh, with that let's move on to our next point which is newcastle university is just 3 uh, hours away from london so newcastle is a very small city so there aren't many it companies there are some so if i'm able to find opportunity in those companies within the newcastle that is well and good but if there are some conferences or fair job fairs or uh, any interview scheduled in london i can always travel there uh, it, it takes just 3 hours by train so that is a good thing and uh, why i didn't choose queen mary university of london even though it is in london and i have many more opportunities because uh, the university fee is higher and also the cost of living is higher so if i calculate everything it will easily go above uh, 35 lakhs uh for one year course and if i uh, go for newcastle university i'll have to pay somewhere around uh, 25 lakh so it's a 10 lakh difference which is quite a lot of money and if i stay in newcastle and i'll have to travel occasionally to london it won't cost me um, more than let's say 1000 pounds pounds right or a lakh if we convert it to indian rupees so that is a thing uh, still i am saving 9 9 9 lakh rupees so that's why i chose newcastle university so these were the major uh, reasons why i chose newcastle university now i will try to uh, justify that why i didn't choose uh, uh, university of glasgow and uh, queen mary university even though they are uh, ranking much higher than um, Newcastle University. So Glasgow University is ranked at somewhere around seventy-two, uh, and Queen Mary University is ranked around one uh, hundred or one hundred ten in world ranking, and uh, Newcastle University is ranked around one hundred and fifty-two. Uh, so yeah, there is a difference. Uh, it might not be a huge difference, but still there is a difference, and. Uh, like i told you newcastle is relatively cheaper uh, in terms of uh, living expenses and uh, also i have a uh, scholarship of 4000 pounds uh, from newcastle university which i don't have from queen mary university of london or university of glasgow and the fees is also less um, in queen mary university of london you have a fees of somewhere around uh 25 to 26 lakh indian rupees and in glasgow it is same as uh, newcastle university which is uh, 23 to 24 lakhs but i don't have any scholarship from university of glasgow so that is the thing and if we consider a 4000 pound uh, scholarship my uh, university fees uh, comes down to uh, 19000 pounds which is 19 lakh rupees so again uh, fees is also lesser at at newcastle university so and also as newcastle university or the newcastle as a place is a smaller city so it is uh, it might not be very uh, crowded it will be uh, silent and it is also uh, known as a good city for students so that is also a thing and i tried talking to many people and they were like yes newcastle is a very good city and uh, if you want to look for jobs or opportunities or conferences or job fairs there will be job fairs in newcastle university as well but if you want to go for a bigger job fairs or if you want to uh, look for opportunities outside newcastle you can always go to london and you can uh, find there and it is not a very long journey it is just 3 uh, hours of journey so that is totally possible so yeah these are the reasons why i chose newcastle university over other universities even though other universities are ranked uh, much higher in the world ranking so it all totally depends on your budget course content and what type of place you like if you are more into going out and partying and all those things probably london or glasgow will be a better city for you but i am not uh, that kind of person i don't really like going out or going to party specifically i like to stay in and uh, so yeah uh, for me newcastle works perfectly fine and uh, uh, yeah these are the points which i wanted to discuss in this video i hope you found this video helpful and if you are into data science you can always download data science notes uh, link is in the description it will help you in learning data science or it will uh, fast pace your learning so yeah uh, and also you can join our telegram group where we discuss about uh, data science and several other courses 
सो दैट विल अगेन हेल्प यू एंड देर आर मैनी गुड पीपल दे आर दे आर ट्राइंग टू हेल्प ईच अदर एंड दे आर विलिंग टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू एज अ कम्युनिटी इन देयर ओन वे सो यू कैन जॉइन टेलीग्राम ग्रुप एज वेल एंड बिफोर एंडिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल इट रियली कीप्स यू मोटिवेटेड टू मेक सच वीडियोज फॉर यू गाइज एंड ऑल्सो हेट दर बेल आइकन सो दैट यू गेट नोटिफाइड इस टाइम एन वीडियो गोज लाइव एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू स्टिक टिल दिस पॉइंट प्लीज गिव इट थम्स अप अगेन इट कीप्स यू मोटिवेटेड टू मेक सच वीडियोज फॉर यू गाइज एंड यू कैन ऑलवेज लेट मी लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू नो एंड इफ देर समथिंग स्पेसिफिक आई वुड लाइक टू हेल्प यू in whatever way i can and to the best of my knowledge so yeah with that being said i'll end this video i uh, hope to see you in the next video bye happy learning